My name is Captain Elmar. While traveling through space, my ship was stuck. My ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blackened out, and I woke on the surface of a weird planet, with so many parts lost. The skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate this planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can only can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the Dolph button, no, I better not think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. What's up, guys? This is James the First, and welcome to my new Let's Play of Pikmin. Uh, this will be going up on Tuesdays and Thursdays alongside Paper Mario. But anyway, let's not talk about that for now and let's just get started here. A strange thing has appeared before me. I had barely begun my search when it reared up as if it were waiting for me. Is it then it it then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion. I shall call this an onion too. Well, we can't really do much about it now. Unless the thing sprouts. Oh. The seed that the onion dropped took a root in soil is now produced an adorable little sprout. The sprout emits a strange light and it sways back and forth without benefit of wind. I cannot help think but it's calling to me. Am I compelled? I much approach it and press A. Extraordinary! When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature, not a plant. Picking it so no visible damage it stands there. It just stands there staring at me. Its shape is similar to the pick pick brain carrots I love this so much. I believe I should call it a Pikmin. And it's just telling us the controls for this game, which I will just say right now. If you hold down and you can hear from the Wii Mill, I don't know if I can fix that or not. But you can guide your Pikmin to wherever you want. B is to call them. Pressing C on the nunchuck separates them, and and the other direction on the D-pad uh, changes the camera. And A is obviously to throw. This is one of my favorite Nintendo series, and actually this was supposed to be, oh uh, well, we'll talk about it in a second. And that's just telling us that when we when we uh, put a red pellet there under the light, it created more Pikmin. But this is my favorite Nintendo series of all time. Like, I mean, I love Pokemon, but Pikmin is really good. I really enjoy Pikmin. And while well, the first game... Oh, I never noticed. Oh, wait, yeah, they always been there. <laughs> but, um... But yeah, Pikmin is such a charming series that I, it really has a place in my heart. And, uh, oh. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd you go, my little Pikmin? Is it stuck? Oh, okay, good. I thought for a second it was stuck. Like, how the hell did you get stuck? <laughs> but yeah, um... This was actually supposed to be no way. Is it on this channel? I know I had I had two channels before. One of my old one and then this one. Oh, come on. I didn't mean to pluck you. Come on. But this was actually supposed to be my first ever let's play on this channel. But then my Wii wanted to be a butthole and mess up on me. But luckily I have a new one. That's what I'm doing Paper Mario since Pikmin's a really short game. I mean, it's not extremely short, but it's short to an extent. Like, the way that I set it up for Pikmin and Paper Mario to go on during the week, I feel like they'll be done at the same time. Maybe Pikmin will be done a little bit before Paper Mario, but hey, who knows. 
And we need one more for that box. So, come on. If you see just the uh, the little sensor wheel just standing there, that means um, that means I'm not really moving my arms that much because this game is on the Wii, and you have to have the Wii Motion Plus in order to play. I believe so. I'm not entirely sure, but um. Yeah, I prefer playing it on the GameCube, and Pikmin 3 works way better with the gamepad. I mean, hey, I love this game, so it's not really that big of a deal. The Pikmin are as curious as children, and they form groups, and a bunch of other stuff that I will explain in due time, come on. And here's a part that we miss. Amazing, there's someone sick in it. My ship's engine rests before my very eyes by a pr stroke of pure luck. I have already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me, but how will I get it back to the dolphin? Go, my minions! And we're six short. Come back, my minions. You shall work for me later. Alrighty, come on. Alright. This is my... This is my first project, actually using the Wii Remote and the Nunchuck. <laughs> so, um, I'm, it's been years since I used a Wii Remote and a Nunchuck. I don't know how I got by Super Mario Galaxy and Skyward Sword playing these games. <laughs> but, um, yeah, other than that, we just gotta wait till these guys bring back the pellets so we can get more than 20 so we can carry this engine back to the Dolphin. So yeah, <laughs> um, and I'm really excited to do two projects at once. This is something I've been wanting to do for a while, and who knows if these two projects end up going well together, I might do more in the future, where it's just two projects, and yeah, he's just telling you, you can repeatedly press A to grab all the Pikmin that sprouted, or that's underneath. Just keep pressing A. Oh, come on. Yeah, sometimes it will stop mid-action. And then you'll start throwing. And this is as many Pikmin as you could get on the first day. So don't go around trying to break the game by getting more Pikmin. I don't know if it's even possible, but let's just get everybody on here. The more Pikmin you have on an item, the faster it'll go back to your ship or the onion. But yep, all we gotta do is just wait for these little guys to bring back our engine. Nah, 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 nah. Um, I might as well cut to whenever they're close. So. I will see you guys in a bit. And there we go. And you can see it on the ship, nice. And it's moving a bit. That's telling me we're making progress, I guess. Oh, glorious. With the help of these Pikmin, I've taken a huge step back toward home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become into. But what has become of the remaining parts? The search starts tomorrow. Sorry for bad singing. <laughs> 
one day since impact. I've somehow managed to launch the dolphin, but I was surprised to see the onion lift off of me. Perhaps the pigmen cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface. Or have they merely decided to join me for other reasons? Either way, those seems they will help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recover them all, I may have never returned to my family on a planet Hakata. Now let's just show that my life support functions will only last for 29 more days. How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? A dense forest is visible on the surface below as it holds the keys to my survival. I'll name it the Forest of Hope. I'll explore it tomorrow. And this is basically showing you what have you done throughout the day. Um, it is impossible to lose Pikmin in battle um, or leave them behind. Well, I'm not really sure about that. I never tried it. Well, anyway, um, parts remaining 29 and days remaining 29. So let's just save. And next time on Let's Play Pikmin, we'll be going to the Force of Hope. And we'll be hopefully getting some of the parts there. Alright, see you guys next time.